Hello my delicious co-creators, Lilou here. I'm on a juicy living tour in Brussels in Belgium with two delicious, delicious human beings. I'm so excited to uh, share with you their stories because I think um, it shows how much uh, humanity is evolving and how many great people are doing wonderful things on this planet. So it's an honor to have Marion. Hello Marion. Hello. Hello. And, and Robert, uh, her husband. Hello, hello, delicious one. How are you? <laughs> These are two characters. I must say we're going to have a lot of fun. They keep on laughing all the time. They've been together for so many years and they're... Not too many. <laughs> Not too many. No, no. no, no a, few. a few years, uh, 30 years only. That's right. <laughs> That's not more. Uh, but uh, we start before, of course, yes? Yes. So thank you. Thank you. So we are so happy to be with you, delicious uh, Lilou. Yes. You see how happy I am, <laughs> how delighted is Marion. So how we could start now? Yes. In which way? Yes. Because uh, you yes. have an extraordinary <laughs> story. You live now, they live now in, in, in Brussels, but you lived in uh, in Paris, in uh, New York City, in many wonderful Washington, places. Washington, uh, New York, Paris, yes, yes. and Brussels. No. Uh -huh. So oh, let's. We, we were in Berlin, in in, in Florence, uh, Florence, and uh, we were Atlanta. also in Atlanta. In Atlanta. Uh, yes. In <laughs> Dallas, in Los Angeles, and uh, not in Chicago. Chicago, no, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> but we love Chicago because the architecture in Chicago is yes. vast on the most incredible city in the world about architecture. But we never leave that. I don't know why. Uh, ask Mario why. But I, what, I, what I love is that you really truly followed your heart throughout your life and you involve yourself in some projects. You have created the Time for Peace, which, which, which is really even a movement rather than just a music and film award. And... Um, Yes, it is. It is, in fact. But uh, you see, oh, uh, we sp we spoke a lot before. Yes, so that means it would be uh, quite a, uh, a venture to explain you everything now. So, how could we start? Well, I think what's beautiful is that you you were an art. How you met, first oh. of all, because you, right. this is quite special. Ah. Tell us, Marion. No, 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 Robert, please. Oh yes, I will try to. to uh, I will. St I will start by your story. So you, you are a marvelous and a, and a, and splendid and beautiful lady, who were living outside from Paris. She, she doesn't agree. Yes, no. you agree. Oh, well. <laughs> be, be serious. Be serious, please. <laughs> No, we are very, very serious, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the fact is um, I am a painter, um, and much more than a painter. In fact, I am a, a, a multi-heart artist. And, um, and a day I had a, a studio where Picasso was living in Montmartre. And uh, I, was, uh, I had a, an appointment, a meeting with a very important collector. And this day I was so stressed because it uh, had uh, nothing to, to wear. And uh, I, I started to just uh, press a paint and just to relax myself, I opened the radio. And what I listened? Marion speaking on the radio. And she was speaking about color, sign, symbolism. And I was so impressed by her voice and by what she was speaking about. Immediately, I stopped to press my pen and I called the radio. And here was the beginning of the story of Marion and Robert Einbeck. Mm. For the better, probably. And uh, Four weeks later, you were married. Oh, four, four weeks. Four weeks. We, we were married. I met with Marion just a week after. And we after four weeks, we were married. And nobody knows that. The fact is, you see, we are, we, uh, we, uh, the people who who were uh, uh, present at the, at the wedding was uh, the taxi driver and a person from the city hall. That's all. <laughs> what I love is this was definitely a synchronicity. Marion, you, you were, it's not like you had, the, from my understanding, this love life always that was, it's just it was a very new and you knew right from the beginning when you yeah, met him yeah. that this was something special yeah. and this was meant to be for, for all the project that you were going to do in the future. Yes, yes. I, I felt uh, since uh, I am a little girl, once day I will meet uh, Robert. I was sure of that. 
And uh, it was very difficult b before to meet him because I had a lot of uh, personal problems with my family, with a lot of different people. And uh, I was always inside of my, my heart, this, uh, this hope, mm -hmm. and uh, I was sure to, to meet him. And once I came to Paris and uh, I met uh, Robert, I, I knew it was, it was him. Mm. And this really helped uh, everything that you put uh, then afterwards. What happened from that moment forward? Tell us a little bit about the, the color study, the scientific yes. study that you've done on color from there. Because there you were, you had something in common, right yeah. from the beginning. <coughs> yes, that's right. The fact is, uh, first of all, I have to say that uh, um, I had never imagined to find uh, an angel in Paris, uh, and so when I found uh, Marion, it was an angel. So uh, mm -hmm. it was really I was blessed to to meet with her. Mm -hmm. It was really something, and um, so I was working on color, and I, my uh, specialty was uh, meditation space, self contemplation space, but contemporary art, and so that I had a lot of exhibition in, in the U.S. and everywhere in the world. And um, when I met with her, I, uh, I had a start uh, an organization which was called Circle, that's a center of international research on color, shape, and elemental uh, element. I, I don't really remember, but the fact is we, the idea was to uh, make a, a physiological uh, research in hospital uh, just to know how the body and the physiological aspect of the people react uh, in connection with color. Because um, my work was really much more influenced by uh, spirituality and symbolism of color all over the world, but it was necessary at this time to add something. And so Marion, as Marion was working on uh, symbolism and uh, symbolism and color and uh, and, uh, and the signification, the meaning of what means the color in a different kind of spirituality. We uh, start the, um, this experience in, uh, in an hospital, uh, Ambroise Paris, in Paris at this time, with a, a team of uh, different uh, searchers. It was uh, Physician. uh, physicians, and uh, searchers and physicians. It was uh, uh, a cardiologist, uh, professor of cardiology at the Hôpital Ambroise Paré, and with a team of uh, uh, an engineer of light and an ophthalmologist and uh, uh, different kind of people. And uh, in this experiment, we make an experiment of 100 people with uh, um, cardiac people, we and in uh, in a room which uh, were light with a different color, and so after uh, this experience, which was done in a very specific, it's difficult to, uh, to explain this kind of experiment in, uh, in in English. But the fact is, uh, we were the first to show that. Uh, uh, is exist a difference between the reactions of color uh, inside of your body and uh, the response of the physiological, the, the psychological response. We were the first to show that in the world. Mm, so, so you had people in the room, from my understanding, that yes. were uh, closed eyes and exposed to different colors, and then you could test how they yes. feel. And those colors were not put in a sequential, the same order. Each yes. time it was a different order. That's right. That's right. That's yes. right. Yes. And so what happened? What is the conclusion from that? And, and how did that move you forward? This was in the 80s? Was it? it was in uh, 84, 85. Okay. 85. So you were one of the first ones, if not we the first. The first. We were the first because it was never done before. And uh, and the, ex uh, the experiment, experiment showed that uh, the response the physiological response has no connection with the psychological response. Mm -hmm. And that means, for example, if you have a surrounded by blue for the cardiac people, it's not obviously the right color, even if you love blue. 
but I can't explain you all the details of this experience because it's much more complex. Mm -hmm. But it was a show and uh, in many, and, um, and it was explained in conference in many institutions uh, in, in the world, in fact. And the first one was a 15 in Paris, which is a, a very important ophthal ophthalmologist uh, uh, place. And we were called by the Georgia Tech Institute uh, just uh, a few months after because they were interested by this kind of experience and just uh, to open uh, um, a kind of uh, research uh, office. Uh, but we, we didn't do it mm -hmm. because the fact is we were uh, much more interested to develop uh, the concept of uh, self-contemplation space. That's right. what uh, we are yeah. artists and we are not uh, really uh, physicians, you and, see. And so you had this, I mean, you were living in Paris. You had this, this, this great life. Everything, yeah. You were saying everything, yeah. everything really was there for you. You had a lot of money, a lot of <laughs> facilities. And, and uh, huge uh, expos and, I mean, uh, projects that you yes. were doing. Uh, and you, you're, you were, you're successful, like, artists, like, yes, big that's time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, that's right. That means uh, I had exhibition everywhere and... Um, The, we, we had a commissions by a large company like uh, uh, Vogue, the magazine Vogue, or uh, Swatch, or uh, Ron Poulenc, or uh, yeah. uh, of L'Express, a magazine L'Express. So that means I, I did a large environmental works. Yeah. Uh, and, and the fact after an exhibit I had in Basel, it was in 1988 or 87, 87, I had a large exhibit in Basel for the Christmas time and I did an installation, a Christic installation because it was a Christmas time and where the, all the media journalists came from Paris and from Germany and from uh, Switzerland to be presented. And Marion told me, so you, you know, you, you are doing so a fantastic uh, three-dimensional work of art for uh, meditation and, uh, and self-contemplation. Why we are not doing together a space like that but a space traveling all over the world and every tent and I said wow that's a good idea mm -hmm. to have a tent a traveling all over the world to promote peace but not that's mad <laughs> ah, yeah. that's a huge project oh, it was uh, huge really yes <laughs> perhaps too huge I don't know but it was our uh, it was our heart yeah that's what I love this was a heart calling so you decided to go away from Paris and move to New York yes. sell everything and yes. restart it all. I just love that because there's a lot of people that are finding themselves in this situation now that just have to restart life that are losing their job you know HP yes. uh, yes. Uh, fired another 27,000 people I mean hundreds thousands of people are finding themselves in this situation you put yourself in this situation yes, in difficult situation really because of course we we don't uh, we didn't know uh, somebody in New York uh, and we decided to leave everything and uh, it was really uh, for me it was very uh, terrible experience fantastic but terrible difficult experience mm -hmm. you imagine you you sell everything you have nothing and only you and you arrive in New York with your luggage <sighs> It was difficult. Mm -hmm. but it you were not in your 20s either. And no, no, no. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yes, yes. We were not very young. And, but... Uh, Schoolgirl. Schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. No, but the fact is, uh, uh, we decided, uh, you see, uh, Marion had... Uh, an apartment in Neuilly and I, uh, we, uh, and, uh, not a bad area yes and I had a studio in Montmartre where Picasso was living and we said so we have to develop uh, this project you see this it was not only a project for peace um, it was a project uh, much more for humanist values as I mean uh, mm -hmm. solidarity uh, tolerance uh, respect of the difference better understanding between people and so we decided uh, to 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 sell all our belonging because it was necessary if you are going uh, to another country like that but we 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 went to to the US not as a normal immigrant because immigrants are going to the US with no money and we arrive with a lot of money <laughs> and that was a difference but the fact is we sold the apartment we sold our, all the furniture everything to a new 
idea because we believe it was a time. And why we did that, I have to explain you really is the reason. When we met together, Marion and I, we were so blessed to meet together, to be together, because it was something, it was only one human. It was not two different people. It was just one people which was completed in a feminine and a masculine part. It was one. And it is so rare, you see, to leave this experience. And Marion and I said, so we have to use our happiness, what's happened to us, because we were blessed to give to others. That's why we decided to. And when Marion told me, so we it would be a good idea to do this best. I said, so yes, that's a way perhaps to give to the other through our heart and to bring to raise awareness about how it is important to not to live for yourself, mm -hmm. but to live all together as uh, one of our closest f uh, friends, uh, Rabbi Moshe uh, Garlic said, uni one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> you happy? <laughs> What's so beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> so, so next time you are coming with us, yes? <laughs> I, I, yeah, you were overflowing with love, yes. and you had to share this and and put everything that you had to create this moving tent. Yes, yes, like a, a gypsy. <laughs> no, it was a big tent. It was, uh, and it was really the beginning of uh, the adventure, really. Mm. Yeah, and, and the fact is, so when we arrived in New York, uh, we didn't imagine it. Well, you see, we, we didn't follow the, 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 the news at the, at the time and the financial news, but it was a very bad time. It was uh, 1989 and uh, uh, about financials, it was not very good in New York. But anyway, so we stayed in New York and uh, we had a large uh, apartment uh, in, a, in a place called the Bu police building uh, where all the top model were. That's a police building because it was uh, the place uh, uh, built by the f first um, president uh, uh, no, Roosevelt, it has two presidents, Roosevelt, and the first was uh, the head of the police, and he built a very large uh, building a downtown a nearby uh, Soho, and it was an incredible one, which was a transforming condominium, so we had a large uh, place here, it was a very, uh, uh, I don't explain how we, could, uh, we, we, we went there, because it was a uh, Really special, but how you manifest it because everything in their life is really manifested to a T. I mean, you're gonna see it as the story unfolds, but yes, that's right, because it would be a little long to explain. But the fact is, we, we were there and we started to work with uh, on the project at the time. So, we um, we create an organization, a not for profit organization. At the beginning, the project was called uh, Ecumenical Tent for World Peace in the World. So, that's mean it was. Uh, Early, really long, and it become the Einbeck Time for Peace Project. There was a Time for Peace Project, but to to manage it, it was necessary to create a not-for-profit organization. So, and the not-for-profit called Time for Peace was created with two incredible chairman. We were all there. We were blessed to meet all with uh, these two. And the first one is. Uh, the Dean um, James Park Morton, our brother, our brother. Uh, yes, it's uh, it's so close to 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 us. He was uh, the Dean of the Cathedral Saint John the Divine in New York. He is not anymore because uh, so now he changed. But it was also, uh, and he is always the the founder or, or of an organization. It was the first interface organization in the in the US called the Temple of Understanding and it was created by uh, a good friend J J uh, Judy Hollister who is not anymore in life and uh, she is as she created that with uh, Eleanor Roosevelt and uh, Dr. Schweizer and the Dalai Lama it was the first interface uh, organization in the world it was called Temple of Understanding. Uh, so he became one of the chairman, and the other one, uh, and we were also blessed to meet him, it was a Dr. Noel Brown. Dr. Noel Brown at this time was the director of UNEP, United Nations Environment Program. And it was at the origin with a Dr. Strong, uh, or Strong, yes. Maurice Maury Strong, of the Conference of Rio. You know what's uh, become the Conference of Rio for the protection of the environment, who became after the Conference of uh, Kyoto and Oslo, and everybody 
learned. And so we, that was our two chairman. And we started to work with architects and uh, people, uh, um, engineer, engineering office on the development of the project. And uh, at the beginning, it was uh, just a self-contemplation space. We end became largest. We had after uh, uh, a place, a concert hall and, uh, and a movie theater inside and, uh, and a place for uh, dedicated to the environment and a, li uh, and a bookstore and a cafe uh, and everything under a tent. And it became more and more complex and more and more important. And so, and it was just a traveling space with a, a few track, ele electronic track, you see. Uh, and uh, so it was, uh, I believe at this time, it was a, a 75 meter long to 55 meter large. And uh, so, it, and I had exhibition everywhere. Uh, and we, so even in UNESCO in Paris, I had a large exhibition and we, we designed and so. And after an exhibition uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Washington, because we were living in, uh, in, uh, in New York and after uh, one year and a half, uh, the situation was not very good because you see uh, all the money uh, go fast in, uh, in, uh, so uh, he went with the large apartment we had and the studio uh, meeting of the people but at the beginning we said so oh, it, it is like that you see we have to to work on it and uh, and the architect and and the, uh, and the exhibi exhibition to prepare and so and we were not uh, uh, u.s citizens so we we took a lawyer just to start to 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 have a, a green card. In fact, it is not a green card; it's a pink card. But it's a green card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you nearly throw them, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it was extraordinary story, and we win the, the, the at the lottery the green card. Yes, that's special. It was really meant to be again. Yes, it was. Uh, it was fantastic. It was a destiny because uh, uh, the lottery. A lot of people are not uh, uh, the lucky to to win this uh, card, and we were lucky to to win this card. Mm. Better, better. In fact, before mm -hmm. that, uh, we get a prolongation to stay in uh, in New York, and the lawyer calls us a day and say, "You see, you can't stay anymore." I say, "What? I can't stay anymore there? No, 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 no. You have to leave by uh, January 13." My God, by January 13. So, and where do so we will go to Canada? Oh no, don't go to Canada. You have to go further because if you are it's going, it's too close. It's too close, Canada, Mexico, too close. It's necessary to go uh, far away. But you didn't have the money anymore. No, 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 we had not the money, and so to go, so we 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 sought to go back to France. But you see, we didn't have anything in France at this time because we 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 sold everything, and so. But when we meet, when we met uh, James Park Morton, it was uh, just uh, uh, two weeks before leaving. Uh, we we were supposed to to leave the U.S. and he asked us to show. The study, and so we show in the Cathedral Saint John the Divine on the floor all the, the drawing I made uh, about uh, the tent. And he looked at us and he said, Are you free uh, in two weeks to meet with uh, Michael Korbachev? And Marion said, Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, yes, uh, because <laughs> I, I, I loved immediately uh, James. I felt immediately he, he was true, and, uh, and Robert was very uh, sceptical. Okay. What? He, he didn't believe uh, it was possible to meet uh, Michael Gorbachev like that. Yes. And, uh, yes. and so I was uh, so surprised and he said, so what said this man to, to, uh, to meet Gorbachev? Uh, so we went back to, to our to home and, uh, and weeks after we received two tickets, two tickets to go. And you can't imagine when it was January 13. Mm. So we had two tickets to go to Moscow. And to meet with uh, Michael Gorbachev, and so we uh, travel with uh, Perez de Cuellar, with uh, Albert Gore, who was uh, just uh, yeah. s senator, and with uh, uh, with uh, Carl Sagan, Carl Sagan, with uh, Elie Wiesel, and. Um, mm -hmm. And it was, and so we met Gorbachev. Uh, uh, I always remember, and I don't want to tell all the story. What's happened? Happened in uh, in Moscow because it was like uh, uh, 
uh, a novel of uh, Georges Simenon, really, because it was, <laughs> it was incredible. But the fact is, we, we were at the Kremlin uh, talking with Gorbachev oh, and yeah. eating caviar. And, <laughs> and talking but, about what? But, we but we the fact is, the fact is... concerned by the poverty, because yes. uh, at this time, we, you, have, uh, you had a lot, uh, already a lot of people uh, in a misery, and we were very concerned by that because it was really uh, uh, the opposite. You have uh, very rich people and very poor people. All, yeah? Yes, the fact I, I told you we were eating caviar because we had uh, nothing at this time, you see, and it was already a big difference for us. But the fact is at this time we met also fantastic people, a poet and a writer, and some people were just uh, dropping words in our pocket and say, and we want to escape from, uh, could you help us? And I always remember this lady who came to 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 try to invite us for for a dinner, and she came, and she has no shoes, and she was working in the, in the snow. I don't know how it is now, but the fact it it was a really a very uh, tragic uh, uh, environment and time. But the fact it's uh, this time it's now back in uh, in many country, and we were very we are very. Uh, upset and concerned about that. But the fact is, so back to, to the US, uh, we, we move after to Washington because uh, uh, we continue, I, uh, thanks to my, at this time, as we had uh, no nominee, thanks to a few drawing and a few painting, I was uh, sailing, we were able to move to, to Washington uh, DC and to have an apartment here uh, with a studio and to continue the work. And, uh, And I had, after an exhibition in Paris or in many other countries, I had an exhibition in Washington. So in a, in a larger in larger gallery, which is not anymore existing, it was a, a Marie Tranier gallery, and they just, uh, after a, a show of Rochenberg, I had a show there, and I don't know, we had a very large uh, picture in the Washington Post, an article of a near about half a page at this time and, and so for the opening probably 1,500 people and Marion said more but you see it was impossible to move in the gallery it was impossible to see uh, painting because people were so close to the painting it, it was really uh, uh, incredible but it was not good at all to, to see painting <laughs> it was not a good condition <laughs> And so, and <clears throat> after uh, we were invited by uh, the, the ambassador of France because uh, the project was under the patronage of the Ministry of Culture, French Ministry of Culture, French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and also UNESCO and the European Commission of uh, Delors. Jacques Delors. Jacques Delors at this time, yes. And and so we had a, with our two chairman we had a dinner at the French embassy after the opening and with a few other people about fifteen or twenty people were there and two uh, diplomats uh, uh, from uh, Germany and from Israel were there and so we were uh, uh, talking about what we did and one of these uh, diplomats told us so why you are not uh, creating a prize, an award, you see? And uh, so why? An award? an award for film, an award for music, because uh, you had uh, a movie theater, you have uh, a concert hall in your project, and it would be good uh, for the humanist value uh, for which you are fighting, you see? Uh, why not uh, to create an award uh, showing uh, every, ye every year film or uh, music who carry... Uh, the message of uh, humanist value, of tolerance, of solidarity, or uh, respect of the different. I say, I don't, we don't know anybody in this field. Say, but let's do that with us. So, uh, so we went back to to New York, um, and one of uh, um, the ambassador here, she has a title of ambassador, but she was a consul of Israel at this time, told us so, uh, Perhaps it would be a good to give that the first award to Steven Spielberg for Chiller List. 
I said, surely Steven Spielberg. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Let's do that. So we... <laughs> you are always a yes to life. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, you are a yes to life. Yes, yes, yes. And it was incredible because, of course, uh, we, we knew... Uh, Steven Spielberg, but Steven Spielberg didn't know us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, and we explained that to, to the to uh, uh, some people from the French consulate uh, in charge of uh, the trade, and so we want to organize. Uh, Uh, a ceremony uh, for uh, Steven Spielberg and Schindler List, and we could do perhaps that in uh, the Lincoln Center. You see the dinner, and the Lincoln Center was looking at us uh, like that and say, "Oh, yes, such a good idea. When do you want to do that? Oh, pff, three, four months. Three, four. Did you do that before? Never. Do you know Steven Spielberg? Did he accept it? No." But you are crazy. That's a, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are crazy. I remember always he was completely uh, uh, upset and he was not happy at all because uh, for him it was uh, impossible to do this kind of thing. And, uh, and so the fact is, uh, we said so. We call uh, Steven Spielberg. It was not an easy task, but I had a long conversation with our assistant. Uh, at this time, and uh, really a very nice uh, Chris Kelly. I remember her name because she was a fantastic lady. And and Chris told us, but you see, he received a thousand uh, requests a day uh, from uh, a rabbi in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Moscow or uh, an organization in, uh, in Kyoto. Or, and it is one more request and uh, how could you accept yours and not the other one and so i tried and so after a long long conversation and uh, and dealing in uh, in fact he has accepted to be uh, to 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 receive the prize and it was a beginning and so we had this evening and we found the sponsor and uh, and we had an evening not for a lot of people it was uh, 120 people 12 uh, 12 table but uh, if Saint Laurent designed a special dress for Marisa Berenson and uh, called a time for peace dress and Paul Bocuse did uh, the, the, the dinner and we had a fantastic concert George Bell came to to play some Kaddish and we had a Uh, uh, a quatuor from uh, from Israel and a trio from uh, Ireland. It was a fantastic, fantastic evening at the Lincoln Center, yeah. as we did. And the most incredible thing we did that the uh, 20th of April, and I ex we explained that uh, the 20th of April to the ambassador of Germany. He said, "Oh, 20th of April, don't do that. This is a, a terrible day. You see, we we may we had a few event in Germany." Twenty of the end. It's, it's not very good because it's the birthday of Hitler. So it's not fantastic to do that. The birthday of Hitler for Schindler List. We have to. The Holocaust. Uh, it was so important because uh, it was uh, uh, talking about Holocaust, and uh, you imagine, it was so strong. Mm -hmm. But everything really, the the people, the location, the the entertainment, the 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 the, the A list. Uh, Uh, was there and supporting and and everything happened in yes. a, in a magical way f for a cause for for a reason for a good reason you you, you uh, tell us what the intention of this award is and what you want to 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 share because i think it's important in every project that we have those really good hearted intentions and i think that's why you got in the end so much support your heart was doing those moves really yes the fact is we were uh, just uh, Our idea was uh, to show through film and music uh, humanist value and to raise awareness how it is important to leave uh, the tolerance or the respect of the difference or the better understanding between people, but not to think about you only, but to have uh, 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 your eyes and your ears open to the other, you see, because we believe uh, to one uh, in in a word and so then mean uh, what means to be yourself if you are yourself you are alone but uh, you belong to an enormous uh, um, uh, humanity and so that's mean you have to live each other with harmony and 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 to build uh, really and to to build, to build. Uh, i have no accent no 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 no, no, no but you have a lovely yeah. thick french accent 
<laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> no, no, this is lovely. Do we love it? <laughs> <laughs> and so, and uh, so, and, um, and that's why, and so, and, the, and this uh, pr uh, prize, uh, and this award, become uh, quite important because he, he he raised awareness in the U.S. but everywhere in the world because we got many articles, thousand and thousand articles in every country just to. To, to try to push the people to see the, the film and to listen to the music and to really raising, inspiring uh, people just to leave humanist value because it is an example and the first, first film and first music which were uh, award uh, where uh, the first film I said because the music is different but the first film show uh, uh, example of people who are making this world better, and these, it is a case of Schindler List. In fact, and after uh, th uh, three years ago, uh, three years after, we we gave the award to Il Postino. It was also a fantastic uh, story about people concerned about what's happening in the world. It's not the people who are just uh, sleeping on themselves. You see, it's people who are living and making this world really a world because we are in construction as you said before you see we believe that uh, we are not yet human being we are in creation we are at the beginning of the beginning of what the human being has to be and here we are <sighs> yeah! Wow. What do you think of the evolution of human beings? I know this is a big question, but we're... we're yes, but uh, we are very uh, upset about uh, the evolution in Europe now, because I don't know, I don't know if you follow, but uh, we are uh, very concerned by the situation in Greece, in Hungary, uh, even in uh, Holland. It's very uh, preoccupying. Well, yes, for the far right uh, movement, uh, Marion told, because we, I had a conversation yesterday uh, with uh, uh, a producer of film in New York and uh, uh, a Jewish man, and he said, "So I'm, uh, I'm shocked by what's happened in Europe now because you see all these people voting for." A far right movement. That's, uh, you can't imagine. Uh, one of our good friends, uh, close friend, because he, uh, we knew him and I, I know him uh, since now 40 years. Uh, he was uh, uh, a publisher, uh, art publisher in Paris, and uh, and he's uh, from Hungary. He's in Hungary. He's uh, from Hungary. And he told me, he told us that uh, he has a little house there and gave the, his house. Because when you went the last time in Hungary, he said, so it's terrible. He remember I, I'm a Jewish and uh, my family was uh, killed in a camp, you see. And I see the same thing what I was living when I was a kid. And so I can't see that anymore. So he doesn't want to be back in his own country, you mm -hmm. see. Because what's happened now is so important. So it's a time now, because we after 17 years, uh, we, are, no. we, we were... To tell no. It's time to tell no. Say, and to say yes for something else. So the fact is, uh, uh, we 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 had the last ceremony in uh, uh, the Time for Peace uh, Film and Music Award uh, at the uh, uh, European Parliament, and it's it's difficult to do what we are doing because we have uh, to raise funds all the time and. And, it's, and uh, we gave all our belonging, and now, in fact, we, we are start again to paint, and Marion is uh, writing a book about our uh, experience, because we had, it's uh, like an epic tale, what we were living, really, because we met so fantastic people and so strange situations, you see, so it was up down all the time, and like if you are... Uh, 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 crossing uh, through a storm, uh, uh, the oceans, you see, and you are the, the captain there, and, and suddenly, oh, it, everything is quiet, and two days after, it is a storm, uh, and, and you see elephants flying in the sky. It's like that, you see, what we are, <laughs> we were living. And, and the, it's, it's like, uh, and she's uh, writing uh, this, this book. Uh, it's uh, like uh, La Piste Fauve of Kessel, you know, it's uh, no, I am not Kessel. <laughs> I am not Kessel. Kessel is an extraordinary writer. Oh, ah. 
But the, the humanist to an humanist, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So what would you say, um, because I know you're writing the book and there's some more project that you're working on and, and you're in the situation, what would be your final like message or piece of advice that you've understood from life through all the experiences that you had that even you might want to re remind yourself because I know we all go through ups and downs. Um, yeah. what, what could we end this conversation yeah. with? Each people can make something, can make the difference. And also, um, it's very strange because we cross really very, very difficult time. But we are so happy inside of us. Mm -hmm. We have nothing in front of us, but we are happy. We are uh, full of uh, hope, full of hope and full of love. And it's really a, a message. I, what do you think? Um, uh, yes, yes, that's true, yes, that's, that's what we are. But for the other, it's another uh, question, that means uh, it's a time now to... to uh, yes, it's a time now to, to be, that means to be, really to be. Uh, uh, it's not uh, Shakespeare uh, first uh, to be or not to be, but it's uh, really that, in fact, uh, we have to be and to live in a different attitude, that means that's why... Uh, Uh, many uh, government uh, doesn't understand uh, because you see, uh, and we have a project now just uh, uh, propelling and uh, pro promoting uh, uh, humanist values throughout a short film, a short story of writer, and so, so uh, that will be used uh, in um, in uh, uh, teaching tools in university in, uh, and in and for school. Mm -hmm. But what we What we must uh, uh, do is to, to have a different attitude and to to consider uh, the artistic side of uh, of uh, human. You see, because what the souvenir and the what we we know about civilization, it came f uh, come from uh, from art. Mm -hmm. It's not coming from. It's not coming from trade or business. Or if you are looking at the Egypt or the antique Greece, it's not. Uh, you you are not talking about business, but we are talking about the philosophy, about the, the architecture, about the art, about uh, the music, and and the fact uh, we are a little sad about what's happened in uh, in Europe now. We and in the world we are always talking about business and business and business, but business. What's mean business? Business doesn't construct a human being. Business is not is not a kind of a philosophy inside of you. It's not a way to be uh, well or to to uh, you see it doesn't mean anything. You have to live. You you have to you need a kind of dignity and to live in a right way. But money has to be used tool. as a tool for a better life. And so what we would like to do is to, you could do that if you start in your street, in your uh, uh, city. Take care of, have a different attitude with the other people, with uh, uh, have the respect of the difference, but uh, not the tolerance and, and in, in any way, because as... Uh, Uh, many people said to be tolerant, you have to be tolerant, but you can't be tolerant with any people. You can't be tolerant with evil, you see, because it's a crime to be tolerant with evil. But you have to be, uh, to take care of what's happened with other people because we could change, we could make this world mm -hmm. a fantastic one. Thank and you. The you and the life is so short. Life is so short. We need to don't live right now. Don't lose time. Don't lose time. Act now. This is happening all around us. And we're the one that are going to make a difference. Yes. Yes. We have yes. to be we the are. change that we're looking yes. for. <laughs> Please make the change with us. Make the change. And we will do something fantastic. Yes. Together. All together. Much, much love from Brussels Bye. in Belgium. Bye. Bye. <laughs>